Hey yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Dice aka Dicem. I am back with a banger of a video and today we got a video on GXK in specific. Both the ferocious Ice Titan Shimo and her master, Scar King, the great ape of the Hollow Earth, leader of the Ape Rebellion, along with Shimo being a very ancient and malevolent powerful force of nature. Similar to Godzilla, Shimo's dorsal spines actually light up on her back before firing her blast attack. An attack that is in fact not an energy-based projectile attack like most in the MonsterVerse. Instead, it functions as a freeze ray, the polar opposite of Godzilla's attack. Obviously, Shimo shows the characteristics of an alpha in some ways. Though, unlike Godzilla and Kong, she is technically not an alpha. That is, of course, at least in some specific ways. Now, on the other hand, you've got the alpha King Ghidorah, the one and only. The OG Titan. Monster Zero, the devil with three heads, he who is many. The Titan, who is not to be slept on or underestimated in any way. Both Shimo and Ghidorah cause changes on the Earth just by simply being there. Shimo's blast attack, known as the Frostbite attack, similar to the Atomic Breath, is a ranged projectile attack that is in fact not a superheated energy attack like the others in the MonsterVerse, but it is instead a very, very freezing cold beam attack that is in fact not an energy-based attack. But, a frostbite freeze breath, being able to freeze over entire huge titans such as Scar King and Godzilla, also being able to take over entire cities, covering them in ice. This ray can even shoot out as an OP beam that can even freeze clouds in the damn sky, somehow, as seen here. I think this is a great weapon to be the antithesis to Godzilla's atomic breath. Now... Shima is a thick, scaly reptilian hide that can survive a blast at point-blank range, as seen here from Godzilla's atomic breath. In a way kind of similar to Superman from Man of Steel and his heat vision, Godzilla's atomic breath is seemingly amped in each film. It's extremely powerful, way more powerful than the 2014, 2019, or GVK atomic breath. As I mentioned, this seemingly infinite blue, or sometimes purple beam is in fact seemingly endless ray of concentrated superheated nuclear flame and radiation from the hollow earth after Godzilla absorbed the hollow earth energy and that of the titan Tiamat after he killed it then going into the stages of a metamorphosis in his cocoon becoming evolved Godzilla on the other hand we have the infamous ice titan Shimo she is very overpowered but is in fact controlled by her master Scar King Scar King himself stands roughly at 318 feet, being able to actually ride on top of Shimo's back as her master, kind of like a hound in a way. As before this film even came out, we heard rumors and leaks about Titans domesticating other Titans, of course usually being the Great Ape Titans, with there being an overall hierarchy based upon who is the most intelligent of the Titans as it typically is in nature, because regardless of your alpha status, if someone is smart enough to outsmart you, that is in fact a very, very bad thing. Because your alpha status doesn't even come into play when the enemy has a bigger brain than you do. That, and that alone, is why Scar King is so dangerous along with his immense size and strength. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain that Scar King is too lanky and skinny. But, I think he's a very unique and cool titan with a lot of reach with his blows that is, in fact, along with Shimo, very interesting as some of the best new titans we've seen in a long time. These are both unique and badass titans. I love kaiju, and the titans are very, very interesting monsters, aka daikaiju slash titans. And yes, Technically, Scar King is smaller than Shimo, and maybe she would win in a fight, but Scar King is definitely no one to sleep on or underestimate.
period. Anyway, it's been your Brody, your homie, your Brody Broski Dice, aka Dicem, and I am officially gonna be Audi. Yeah. So, my video on Shimo got taken down recently. So, sorry about that one. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. All I really have to say right now is hopefully this John don't get taken down too, you mean? Without further ado, I'm Audi. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Signing out.